Welcome back my friends, my name is Daily Fix and we are playing Star Trek New Horizons Into the Mirror Darkly as United Earth, I would say United Federation, but we're not technically there yet. We, uh, we met the Vulcans, Captain Archer is in his Cyan ship, eventually I do hope to get him into the, uh, the Enterprise if we ever manage to get that amount of alloys because it is rather expensive now one of the other features is that the game for me feels like it has been slowed down a bit um, in terms of events and I'm quite happy about that I, I really like to have a bit of a go a bit of a play and we'll just see what it is that we can come up with so we're building the new uh, starship here the science vessel there's one other thing that we might want to go into and that could be a trade depot however yeah we don't really have trade yet uh, I can't really see it in here there is five trade value I think it is automatically collected Civilian day-to-day -day economic star bases collect trade value and convert it into research such as Latinum. If connected to the capital planet through a trade route. There you go. If connected to a capital planet through a trade route. So, how does that work? I don't know. Is there a trade value to Latinum thing around here? Is it a research option in the future? Uh, we will see, we're just boosting our educational districts for now. We'll worry about the mining colony later. Like I said, we don't need to rush anything. Let's go and recruit a new scientist. Let's see, all of these are blue. Let's go get um, a Starcraft in here so we can start leveling him up. And I would like to get like a, a few more. And we're going to be sending you, well... Considering that, mm. let's do it again, since it is jumping to this star system, we'll just send them into this general direction, we uh, might encounter the Cardassians, though I believe they are over here, so we'll just see how it will go, uh, our construction ship has nothing else to do, the Bernard star is not very interesting this one is i like the uh, the research there's nine other jobs available at least one planet that um, is a type o and this one is a type o so we could colonize over there might be interesting there is a new alien apparently and it is in the other system and let's take a quick look Oh wow, it even has this for its own, oh, hopefully they're friendly, can't, can't wait till we actually get to know them. Maybe we'll uh, start our uh, peaceful negotiations with them, um, but the coalition formation would have been more preferred. I also would like to get factions going if possible, because they we're consuming quite a bit of our influence, that's why I don't want to get too much territory just yet unless it has something that's actually worth to uh, worth a lot like a planet even though the federation hasn't formed yet uh, we all need the future right uh, we need to grow earth has been uh, just just a, an empty shell of what it can be we need more planets more that more better planets uh, so we got the tellarites and you are now edict cost negative 10 and edict duration plus 20. Hello, thank you. Mm. A large amount of ship debris can be found in orbit around this planet. Possibly the remains of some sort of massive fleet action. Let's do it. The Tellarites. Hello. Hey, you're friendly. I can be very friendly. Let us be greeting Star Traveler. <laughs> I was looking for a battle of wits. Serious? I guess I will keep looking. Yeah, you, you do that. Now, the thing is, this might destroy my influence. Considering the Vulcans already costing me 1.12, forming all of these pacts 
Uh, I don't know. However, the economy is superior, so let's go with that. So we'll get more economy going. And it's close borders with the Vulcan High Command. Let's go with a research deal as well. It's, uh, it's always nice. So we got the Veteran Array and we can start terraforming Mars. But we need to build this array first. Mm, division headquarters. All regen, combat disengagement chance. And the main engineering console. I kind of want to go with science stations. Like, chance to hit and tracking, chance to evade. It isn't as much, but it is still very nice. Ooh, let's go with science. Let's go with science. Hopefully I made the right decision there. Let us see... Yes, these are all taken. Your ships are small and unimpressive. Yes, kind of. Uh, thank you. Thank to you. To find yourself. You're superior, think. at least. I'll try. I'll try my best, but that's may maybe we'll have to do in settings, sound, and turn this all the way down because these advisors, they're so loud. Live long and prosper. That. What smells so badly? Is it? Is it you? Wow, that that's just an insult. That's not nice. Anyways, let us go and how much are we lacking? So we need nine more for another science vessel. I would yeah, like I said, I would like to get like maybe five, maybe five because some events will just yeah kill your scientist, but also keep your science ship busy. And their rescue missions and all of that stuff. And you'll need science ships for that. Uh, so you, you cannot go wrong with science. Okay, so 18, 33, and 18. 31 days. Survey complete. We'll just wait for now. 18, 33, 18. I should be able to remember that. Give it a few days. It updates better first. So we're going to be waiting for the first and it should change. Please change. Hmm, it's not changing. Maybe I'm doing this wrong. I'm sure there is uh Maybe it's taking a longer time. Maybe. We'll uh, we'll uh, see that later. We got science. Okay, let's pause it for a second. Uh, max districts, next stage thrusters. Mm, we don't need this just yet. Supply speed, evasion plus four, which is very nice on your small ships because they already have a very, very high evasion. Next stage thrusters is something that I like more. But that is done. Let's get a nice, another science ship. We could actually buy. Some alloys. Let's do that, and we'll uh, we'll make two science ships. Uh, we should be able to get two scientists out of this with our current financial income. Ah, uh, this is going to be quite rough. So, how did I notice that before? Let's see. Yeah, it it increased a tiny bit. 12.48 and I believe it was 12.33 so but all bits helped right import luxuries unlock starbase facility orbitable oh unity kind of like the unity let's go let's try to get a unity building on our starbase one uh, getting more unity getting the points getting into discovery Anomaly discovery chance, monthly unity, and surveying speed. The other two I'm not too interested in now. Well, maybe no. Wait, 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 wait. Plus 5% and the Think Thank anomaly. Technology. We have an anomaly. An unknown source of chromical particles have been detected. Let's research. Technology. Let's stop. The Vulcan only word for pajama appears to be a, a many. Uh, uh, appears. To many on Earth to be a paradox. Oh, <laughs> it's dispatch. Dispatch. And we'll, uh, we'll get a new guy in there. 
because uh, I don't like one to be killed. So you research that project. That's why I said I want to have more scientists. Um, I don't like this one. Anomaly research speed, negative 10. No. Let's get you. And you're going to be sent over here, here, and into that general direction. Uh, that should be enough in terms of science ships for now. Uh, oh, here we go. So, this is what I was talking about. You can actually change your districts. And these, it, it is not much, but it, it could be gorgeous. Look at this. Migration pool, plus one per district. So, if you would go commercial district, hey, you would have a plus 4% in migration pool. Your growth speed would be, well, a bit better. What's this? Power plant, technical jobs, starbase, yeah, not too interesting. Technical, this is also very nice. I'll go, since the colony development speed is nice, but we haven't gone into colonization yet. I'll go with the gravity manipulation so we can perhaps boost our weapons or actually our combat ships. Oh, look at that. Happiness plus five and immigration pool. And there is something going on on this planet. I'm thinking you might have to research that. Here we go. Let's get discovery out of the way. Research speed plus five. Time to project. It is underway. A matter of time. Well, sensors were able to detect a small vessel in the vicinity of the Chronicle, but it appears it were able to detect. It appears before full analysis could be completed. Sometimes I just have to finish the sentence before <laughs> I, uh, I I get confused. Oh well. Oh well. So that is not too important. This is not too good looking. This one I'm quite interesting. In Alpha Century could be very, very nice. Uh, there's also a type O planet here. It only has 12, but perhaps it is the best planet ever. Orbital Museum. Um, Ideological campaign. Sup Oh, that is actually not bad. Have to be the bus five. Naval logistics centers. Ooh. Let us see. I quite like to go with naval cap. Since once the federation forms, naval cap is going to be quite important. Habitability is Definitely nice. So we'll probably have like 80% on our main planet. Mm, and this edict. Oof. That could be so gorgeous. It could destroy our economy after those 13 years. And we probably won't have the influence to run this. Let's go with the naval. Let's do that. Um, let's see. We have detected the uh, presence of a primitive alien civilization on Sigma Draconis III. In the Stigma Dracona system. They currently seem to be experiencing the equivalent of the Renaissance. Which is interesting. Where is this? Ooh. Are you maybe the, the Nelobians? The, something? You could be. I kind of want to have a station on that. This would generate us science. What would our construction ship do? It's not fully surveyed. If I move there... It has to go there. So we need to get the Maiden Star System. But I'm thinking by the time this system is done, they might already send something. You have 15 orders. You have just a few. Let us just send you over there. Oh, how expensive is this in terms of alloys? Oof. I do want it though. That's this is just research. That's really nice. We could eventually make these people like join the federation without too many costs. So we'll go for it. We'll see what it will do. We're still saving up on food. We got a nice amount of uh, of minerals. 
The development of Mars. Uh, we could boost our mineral production. Mm, I kind of want to do that. I kind of do. We have so much and there's not much we can do at the moment with this colony until we get the Vectron Array. So, let's start building two. Not as many as, uh, as on here, but uh, here we go. It's still 1833 and 19 now, so it did increase, not as dramatically as I uh, made it appear a few minutes back. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> I hope you will forgive me. Um, uh, but yeah, man, good times. Looking very much forward to that. So you have a building slot, huh? Hmm. We don't have uh, available jobs. Don't don't go crazy by the building slot. Please don't be one of those people that has to have all of their building slots filled because it will destroy your economy so badly. Uh, because all of these cost money. So let's just leave it for now. We could probably get more unity and research from a heroic landmark. <sighs> it's another two jobs and we don't have... A people available at the moment at all so the team under science officer Jonathan Archer has finished their exam ex expedition on Alpha Century Alpha 4 and returned to the uh, USS something uh, thankfully the, sh the, uh, the shipyard graveyard on the surface proved to be a technical treasure trove oh yeah science all in the name of science any level up amazing here you can see like uh, heroic admiral ship weapon damage plus 10 percent and he has the prized beagle uh, chances to hit plus five evasion plus five supply speed plus five and ship firing rate oh that is so nice supply speed warp detection range and surveying speed he is your prime candidate for your nx Enterprise class. We are not impressed. Yeah, I know. Just just be silent in a corner, please, if you're not. I really don't want to click that again. There's an archaeological site over here as well. You're starting to make... Ooh, got a tickle in my throat. That's not good. Oh, wow. That would have been bad. It would have been disastrous. Anyways, arriving at Pajam. The captain is greeted by... Perfunction manners of the Takoshten mon Monastery Elder. After a short tour of the monastery entrance hall, Usher appears eager to send uh, the captain on its way. So, uh, we'll investigate a bit further. <laughs> Why not? Now, we know there is an archaeological site that is. Uh, oh, wow, what? Uh, the captain concerns appears to have been warranted, as further investigation on the grounds have uncovered the presence of a strike team of blue-skinned aliens holding most of the monks hostage. Um, so the, the Indorians, they claim that the monastery is being used to hide a subspace listening post. Uh, let's try to rescue them. Uh, the captain attempts to rescue the Vulcan monks uh, and has successful... Wait. Attempt to rescue the Vulcan monks has succeeded in an away team quickly overpowering the attackers. Damage to several monastery walls revealed a number of hidden space spaces leading to a vast underground chamber. Uh, we're going to be exposing them. And the Andorians might like us for it. The Vulcans will most likely not. Uh, let's greet them. The inevitable so, must be accepted to find peace. I do not want to be your protectorate. By any means. Speak boldly, or not at all. Mm, they're overwhelming. They like us due to the, um, due to something, I guess. Oh, there we go. So, pajama exposure plus 40, and the Vulcans the are most likely going be to be negative 20. Piece. So, negative plus 40 to negative 30. I think we're we're onto something here. So news that the Vulcan High Command has used the holy sites to hide covert listening posts, spreading rapidly after the Andorian strike team on Pajem were allowed to depart. While the implications on Earth, Vulcan relations are worsening. Uh, but the Andorians are happy about it. We have a breakthrough in Trusters. 
providing additional infrastructure. So we have the low temperature, which uh, sacrifice speed for the sake of lower emissions. So your stealth and your higher is speed. Let's go for speed since we don't, sh we should not be having stealth capable things, right? Hmm. So here's the strike craft, which you eventually can can make on your Annex class ship. But for now, it holds no value whatsoever. So let's go with the main engineering console. Are there things that we can do to our ships right now? Let's see. Uh, we have better engines, better hull. A better sublight engines. There we go. I should check this more often. So this is my fighting ship. So hmm. warp speed, evasion, tracking. Tracking is really nice. Chances to evade plus one. It's not too much. So let's save you. Let's go to the science ship because I'm sure we can actually do the same thing over here, making them faster. Hardening fields, engineering station, modern hull, yeah, not too impressive. We could go with the um, the modular hull plating. Mm, yeah, I kind of do. Why not? Let's upgrade it. Uh, the uh, science lab will have to have to stay. I don't want to change those. And the emergency backup systems are quite nice. So that's it for the Franklin. Let's go to our construction ship. Um, don't want these just now we don't need them let's make sure we get better engines armor and speed anything else no construction bay no changes let's save so we can start upgrading all of our ships uh, since he's done let's go upgrade our science ship and I have to remember to do these to all of the ships oh there we go Actually, not too bad, Alpha Centauri. Let us... Hmm. Shall we offer some minerals to get alloys? I would like that idea. So let's do it like this. Let us construct another construction ship. We'll get rid of the other one. I kind of want to get to 200 alloys because I want to have a system over here. And one over here. I should also start building a colonization ship. But yeah, that's 220. So that means we need 400 independence guaranteed by the Endorians. It is an honor to meet you. Let's go with a commercial pack as well and a research agreement. And this might just destroy. Well, it's actually not too bad. Migration traders, so trust is building up. We've expanded over there. As you can see, there is already a military station in here. And these are... Unidentified Empire. Oh, that's cool. You are going over here. There's no chance anyone will snatch this away from us, since they, the Indolians haven't... Uh, expanded into this direction. Oh man, the time already. So we're going over here, build the observation post. As for now, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, let me know in the comment section. Smash that like button. Be part of the family on Discord because it's an amazing group of people that we have there. It's not my Discord, it is a, a community thing. You have another YouTuber on there. Actually, there's a few. One Polish uh, YouTuber. Uh, Van Delft uh, doing his own thing and we got Genesis King on there and we got some amazing people that like to play Stellaris a lot so uh, hey join us join us and have fun as for now thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time have a good one bye bye